I was going to put a liner and wing and big lashes and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I know you see this color on my eyes. Oh my God, I cannot wait to show you how I got this look using the new Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. Now, I do know this is sold out. Hopefully they will restock because, because <laughs> this is why right here. Before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do makeup tutorials, reviews, hauls, hair, nails, fitness, all of it. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I got this absolutely gorgeous look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So it has been a very long time since I wanted to do a dedicated eyeshadow palette. I picked this one up as soon as it came out. I did have a 10% off coupon, so I didn't pay full, full price. But yeah, pretty much I would have. This is the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes palette. This is what the card looks like that came in the package. And y'all know me and my greens. And I saw this palette and I was just like, there's no way I'm not picking it up. So I did my base and everything already. I'm going to show you all the palette, tell you some details. Unfortunately, it is sold out right now. It sold out pretty quick. I'm hoping that they bring it back soon because it is absolutely gorgeous. This is what the packaging looks like. Box looks the same. And then, oh my God, I haven't even swatched this. This is what the inside looks like. These colors are so beautiful. I haven't even used this yet, and I feel like if I was gonna rank my green palettes, this would be number one. Just for the color story and the range of the shades of green. That's a big, big statement already from somebody who has over 100 eyeshadow palettes, but I just couldn't help it. I hope you guys can see the textures in these shades. All the looks I've seen are green with this. And I mean, obviously, how could they not be? So I'm, of course, going to do something like that. But I'm so just like, I don't know if I want to do matte. I don't know if I want to do shimmer. I don't know what. So we're just going to play. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys swatches real quick. And then we will get into the look. This does retail for $38.99 on the Ace Beauté website. I have not seen it anywhere else yet. So... Hopefully, like I said, it'll come back because this is gorgeous. I'm going to start with the top row. This first shade is Mango. I should have washed my hands. Palm Tree, Khaki. Khaki is so gorgeous. And Rainforest, and that shade is very soft. Like me just sticking my finger in here made a dent in it already. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. So that's what those four shades look like on my finger. We're going to focus. There we go. And then I will swatch. So this is mango here. Then the next shade is palm tree. Then the next shade is khaki. Then the next shade is rainforest, which is the super glittery shade there. Then we have pickle. Palawan, hope I'm saying that right, Olive, and Oahu, which is those shades there. So this is Pickle, then make sure I get them right, Palawan, hope I'm saying that right, gorgeous, then Olive, also gorgeous and then Oahu so those are those shades there those are all mattes so next we're gonna go into jungle then army safari 
and National Park. Ooh. So, where was I? Jungle is here. Then Army here. Then Safari, which is a gorgeous... That could definitely be a Cree shade. And then National Park, I'm going to put down here. So pretty. And then still on my finger. And then the last three are Chartreuse, which is super neon. Then Cave, which is a really dark. It looks black on my finger, but it's more like a dark, dark gray. And then Seychelles. That's those three shades there. I want Seychelles. We're already doing it. Sorry, this is Chartreuse. Then this is Cave. See how dark that is. And then that is going on my eye right now. I'm so glad I swatched first because I need that. All right, so I'm trying to think of how I want to start this look because I am definitely using Seychelles and I'll probably use Rainforest too. So we are definitely doing a glittery look, going to play with these foil shades. I'm going to, I'm going to go with Oahu. I'm going to go with that first in the crease. Kind of thinking I wish I would have put... I still have time, but if I put some powder down to catch the fallout, but we're just gonna pray there is none <laughs> since I already did my base. It's right off the bat. You can see this is pretty true to color, gorgeous shade, and it is pigmented. I'm starting off by just stamping it to try to avoid having fallout and also to get the most color payoff. I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to go around the edges with Safari. I don't want to use khaki. I'm going to go with khaki. Ooh, she's coming off very yellow. Let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. Just want something to kind of help soften the edges a little bit. I'm so glad this color is showing up though. I hope you guys can see it. It is definitely like a true mustard. More like a mustard brown than a mustard yellow though. Just to build up in between those shades, I'm gonna go in with Safari, the brown that I said would be a good transition and just right around the edge lightly to blend those two shades together a little better. Helps give a little more depth. These colors are blending so nice. Y'all know anything olive, khaki, that is my jam. I'm gonna get a little closer. I think you guys can see these colors pretty well though. I wanna see how dark cave is gonna be. So I'm gonna take a smaller, more detailed brush and I'm gonna take cave, which is the dark shade and I'm just gonna pat that. Yeah, that's some pigment in the outer V. We're just giving it a little more depth and then I'm going to go back in. Ooh, which shade did I use first? I don't know. Let's use something different. I'm going to go in with, I'm going to try pickle. Or did I do that already? I don't even remember the first shade I used. That's bad. No, I don't think I used that one because she is dark. I feel like the way these are blending together, like there might be a little bit that gets lost, but at the same time, like I feel like I can still see that mustard at the top. So that is perfect. They're not just blending away to nothing. Okay, I can't wait. So I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm gonna try with a brush first, but I'm probably also gonna use my finger just because that's what I normally do. And I'm going to go in with Seychelles. I'm going to start in the center of my lid with that one. I don't think it's going to pick up on this brush the way I want it to. Okay. Look at that. I stand corrected. That shade is so pigmented. I don't even have 
my ring light on in front of me. I put, if I put that on, you guys will see what I'm seeing. And I think I just might. Give me one second. Now you see it. I just wanted to put something a little brighter. I'm gonna take, I have another brush that I want. And honestly, I just wanna use my finger. I think that'll be safer anyway. This feels so smooth. Look at that. I just need this. I knew as soon as I swatched it. That is exactly what I wanted. This shade is so pretty. It's so thick. Like it just, look how much is still on my finger. I wipe my finger off and this color is still there. It's almost like it's stained a little bit and that's just what's underneath it. That's not even like the actual color of the shade. So be prepared. If you were using these shades on your eyes, you may have some trouble getting it off. I do see a tiny little bit of fallout. I'm gonna play it safe and go ahead and add some powder. But I mean, with shimmery shades like that, yeah, see down here we got some fallout just with the shade I just added. So not too bad, but we're gonna go ahead and add the powder. Oh, I just don't wanna mess up my highlight. That highlight is beaming today. This is the Jaclyn Hill. I think this is the shade, hold on. Mesmerize, this is her highlighter, absolutely gorgeous. I've had it for a while, but this is the first time I actually tried it on. All right, we should be good. All right, I grabbed a synthetic brush. This is supposed to be a concealer brush, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wet my brush and see if that helps. I don't feel like it's picking up that great with this brush. I'm gonna try another one. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely, it's giving me more of the detailed work that I want right in my crease. But I just want a little more opaque, I think. Mm, this might be doing what I want. Let me try one more brush. Maybe it would have been a little better had I used a glitter glue or something like that, but I'm still getting a lot of color from this. So let's just stay with that and see. On the inner corner, I'm gonna go with Rainforest. Or do I wanna do the gold? Nope, I'm gonna go with National Park. I'm gonna take it on a smaller brush. These are so soft. I'm gonna try to get like a chunk of it. Ooh, that's a lot on my brush and then I'm gonna wet it and hopefully it'll stay and almost kind of just glide on. Yep, that is what I wanted it to do. Almost like a liquid. Ooh, look at how bright that is. That is a big chunk of shadow there. Let me try to put some on this side. Look at that payoff, y'all. This is crazy. That literally looks like I put a metal on my eye. So because these are so flaky, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm pretty much just picking up like a chunk of the eyeshadow there and then I'm spraying it. And it's just a regular hydrating setting spray. And the colors are actually blending together pretty well. I'm just brushing the yellow, the goldish shade over the green to help blend them. So I definitely like how the shadow goes on with my brush being wet as opposed to it just being 
the shadow by itself, it makes it look more foiled and wet and seamless as opposed to a more chunky glittery look. And it just helps everything blend better together. So definitely would say wet your brush for these. I'm just going back with a little more of the yellow to help blend those together. I sorry, I keep saying yellow. It's National Park, it's a gold. It's just coming off so bright and intense that it looks like a yellow on my eye. This looks pretty intense. This is so pretty though. I'm gonna go in with Cave again and I'm just going to darker the outer V. Y'all know I like my outer V super dark. And given that the base of this blue stained my finger, a really dark shade, I think that it'll just blend so well together. And then I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm gonna go back around the edge. What do I wanna use? I don't want, yeah, let's go with Safari. Yes, that is definitely what I wanted. I definitely want to keep the smokiness of the outer V, but I also don't want it to be too, too harsh. I just want to see if it's going to show. I am going to take another fluffy brush. Mango or chartreuse. I'm going to go in with chartreuse because it is calling my name. And I'm just going to go... I don't even know if you guys can see that, but I can see that it helps blend it a little more and also brings back some of the green. Well, that just took away some of my brown, <laughs> which I didn't want. So I'll go back in and blend. I went a little too low, but can definitely see the green around the edge coming back, which is what I wanted. Now for the inner corner, I just wanna see how much I can build this shade up. I really wanna try Rainforest since we're trying all of these metallic shades. I'm not even sure if it's gonna make that much of a difference. This shade is so flaky. It is picking up quite a bit. Definitely feel like it's gonna be a shade I need to wet. So I'm gonna take a little flake of it and just try to press that in the inner corner. Yeah, I can definitely see a difference in that green. I'm actually gonna pull that one on the bottom lash line as well, just to have a difference. These shades are like, it's picking up a lot of the product, like it's a little chunky. You can definitely see that there though. These foil shades are no joke. So you can see that there, super, super shiny. And then bottom lash line, I wanna stay more with the darker greens. I'm gonna go in with Palawan. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's see which brush is gonna get this best color payoff. I'm gonna try Oh yeah, that's definitely picking up. And then of course, I'm gonna go back in with Cave on the outer V. And that is it for the eye look. So I'm gonna brush away Little bit of fallout, hopefully the powder will be okay with it. I'm gonna go ahead and brush that away and then put on liner and lashes and come back and give you guys my final thoughts.
All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. I was going to put a liner and wing and big lashes, and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. This eyeshadow look is so gorgeous. It's so detailed. The colors are so vibrant, and they all just blended so well together that I didn't want to mess it up. I don't think anything else needed to be done. I absolutely love the way this looks, and this palette is incredible. I hope it comes back in stock soon so that you guys can experience this, this magic right here, because if you love makeup, you're going to love this. If you don't love makeup, but you love greens and you love blues, you want to play with color, you have to get this palette. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.